Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and we're on Court Farm. Right, so contractor series, we've been doing pretty well. The money has been hit and miss, but I think we've done, you know, we've done all right for the amount of episodes we've got to. The target we've set ourselves is to get them fast baler, so we need 60 grand so we can start doing some grass silage um, contracts, but we obviously are quite a way off for that. I mean, we're 50 grand off it. I did have 11,000, but I have tried to sort out the problem I was having with when we sold these hay bales that we did in this field. We got minus money because our precision farming score was so poor, so I tried to fix that at least just to the point where we don't lose money, so we're kind of like neutral, um, and I think I've done that. I also had a massive nightmare trying to get rid of the bump that was in this field. Um, it was not playing ball, but I figured it out in the end. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, there is a bit of a dip over there, but that shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it does need ploughing in. I mean, if we're going to do this properly, we'd plough this in, make our own field boundary, do everything, fertiliser and so on. But I did, if we jump over here, you can see where I've been messing about with the, the field. But precision farming, I spent about just under a £1,000 getting this sampled. So we're now at 46 so um, increase it by 1%. I mean, we're still, we're still on a negative, but it's not as much as it was, so... Not ideal though, not ideal at all, especially if we're going to take extra for what we're going to hopefully do in this episode. So let's get have a look at some contracts because this is the only way we're going to be earning money. I know I've got a few logs left, but really we want to be doing, yeah, we want to be doing this, don't we? Um, let's turn the details on so we can have a look at this. So we definitely want baling. I am going to leave harvesting on because what I've decided is I'm going to try and do a bit of a manager role in this episode. We're going to try and manage everything using course plate, auto drive, and so on. And if we can jump in here and there, we'll do that. We just want to try and maximize as much as we can and bring in that cash. So let's sort it by net profit because I think that's the best one. That's unfortunately silage, but I think it was 32 that was hay. So it is. So that's the hay field. And for 13,000, let's do it. Accept the contract. And we'll also, I think, we'll also try to find a harvesting one. And we can set course play on that. Why not? Mm, field 59. Bit of sorghum. Could do. Could do. We could even do two fields, but that's a lot of work. That really is a lot of work. Can we do it all in one episode? I don't think we could, but we could accept two and just do the harvesting, try and take in the cash. I also read all the comments, so I just want to thank everyone with that about about losing straw in the field. So I do now know what to do, so I don't accept the contract. If I've bailed it, though, it should be fine, but if it's loose on the ground, I think that's when I have an issue. Um, but I think I'd rather just do it all complete, sell the bales first, and then finish off and accept the contract. I think it's probably just a nice way to finish it all off, like round it off by accepting the contract at the end, um, or, fine, or completing the contract, should I say. But yeah, I'm just looking. So we got field 59. It wants to go to the farmer's market. So let's just have a look at this. Are we setting ourselves up here for a bit of a disaster? Or is it not too bad? 59, where are you? 59, it's got to be around here. That's there. And the farmer's market, if I remember, is that? Yes, it is. It's up here. So really, that's not too bad, is it? 59 seems like the thing to do. For an extra five odd grand, why not? Let's do it. We've got to make money somehow. It's just, it's all, I mean, it's all going to be a task and half, really, isn't it? But like, let's accept 59. I mean, we could do another bailing contract, but it's just, I don't want to rush it, but at the same time, I really want that baler. And I don't want to sell anything to get it. I know I could do them logs that would top me up a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. Mm, it's a difficult one. I mean, what's next to field 32? So I know 32 is down here. We've got 33, and it shows the symbol for hay. That's really useful. So we're looking for something similar to that, aren't we? Which I can't actually see. Hmm. We've got one up here. We've got field 79. They want hay in that. So we could keep an eye out on that one. Hmm. Now I'm more confused than what I was when I started. 79 is not bad. I mean, that's 7,000. For such a small field. Oh, do you know what? Let's do it. Let's just accept them and just hope for the best. Let's <laughs> let's see if we can do them all. We're going to start with 32 and we're going to go up to field 59 as well. So first thing we'll do, harvester, we'll drive that up, but we'll set 
the mower to go drive on itself to field 32 start mowing so we can do that now so we're gonna need for this we're gonna have to use this bad boy aren't we for the mowing it's just a must it really is and we'll get hooked up we'll get this started we're gonna be doing montages time lapses whatever we need to get this done in this episode let's go with all wheel drive as well It is good to be back playing FS, I have to be honest. I have, uh, as much as you need a holiday, I love this game. I really do. Oh, I missed it. I mean, it's not a bad mower setup, really, is it? Perfect for this at the moment. I think we've done well to get, yeah, such a good setup so early on, really. It was much needed. Right, so... I haven't got traffic on because obviously auto drive, course play, yeah, it's just not worth it. Now, I don't know which way they're probably going to go with this. Let's just uh, have a look at this now. I think maybe, like, I don't know if they'll go through that as well because, yeah, this is going to be difficult because if they do go through that, there is a lot of collisions in the way. Um, oh, and it is a route as well because that's through a yard, you see. Personally, I'd like him to go through here, but then they can't really cut across, can they? They could go up around and down. I know the lags are horrendous, but it's just because the auto, auto drive network is massive, highly detailed. Um, I think the only way they can do it is coming this way, isn't it? Which is not ideal at all. So what we're going to have to just quickly do is take a sneak peek at how bad this is going to be because we haven't purchased this area, you see, and we need to clear off the the rubble for it to get past. Hmm. Yeah, that is not good. Not good. If there was a way to bypass that, that would be brilliant. I don't know how it's been set up, but if it is set up that it wants to naturally take that route, then I, I think that might be a bit of a problem. Because it might be better to go up and take the track somehow, cross maybe, down there, down here. And then obviously work your way into field 32 that way. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just try it out. We'll see what it does. Um, we need to obviously set up the course anyway, so let's do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not set up like that, personally, but we'll find out. Field position there. We want to... I imagine it's 6.2. Shouldn't see any issues with that. We'll do four headlands, smooth. We'll up the overlap to about 15. Why not, with a mower? We're always going to have problems with that. And we can also probably skip a row, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. Generate that field, happy days. Okay, so that's that bit done. Now what we need to do is make sure in, well, just bob that there for a second. We'll, we'll change this to fields, to field 32, tractor weight. We want to go, we want to take off the editing button, put on course plate, and off you go. Who don't hit that. That's me, that is, setting it off. He obviously wants to go in that direction. I don't want to go to a repair station. Thank you very much. So let's just change that. Um, driver settings. Is it on this for this tractor? Right, so there we just change automatic refuel and automatic repair. We'll apply them settings and we'll tell it to go again. And I just know it's going to do that. It's going to go, you know, straight up to the... I just want it to turn left here. This, I think that's the only way it's going to do it, but it's not going to do that, is it? No. Nope. So that's not ideal at all. Because if you don't own that plot of land and you're using it as a main road, you know, with all the collisions in there, this is just going to be a disaster, surely. Surely. And I know I need to open this gate as well. Right, so that's that problem sorted out. 
I've decided to purchase the land, put the money in, and then I obviously removed the junk and sold the land again. So we're back to where we were. We're just using this as <laughs> yeah, as a, a way to travel through because it's obviously important to the auto drive network to have this route. So we're just gonna have to use it and open the gates as we see them. But we should be now all right. We've gone into, this is field 32 on the right. So now we know that's working, we can go and drive, yeah, we can drive the harvester up. I think that's probably the best bet. Um, I'm just gonna have to wait though, just to wait and see. I need to know it's working before I move off. It should be, I mean, it's a decent sized field. There you go. Are you going to start? Yes, there you go. I thought they were driving off without the mower on. Um, probably want to... Is it going to be wet grass? Do you know what? We'll keep it as wet grass because I'm hoping it shouldn't have too much of an impact. We can still ted it. There we go. Right, so harvester. Got fuel in it. Shouldn't be a problem. But let's just go and set this up. I'm hoping it's going to be easy to travel with this now because the last time... It was a bit difficult to get it within this space over here, but obviously I've widened that area just to make my life easier. And that was much easier, so that's good news. So, we are going up to field 59. It'd be interesting to know how it gets there. I'm going to have to try this out now as well, or drive. Field right at the end, 59, off you go. There we go. It's going to be difficult with this because it's obviously got a trailer on, so I don't imagine this is going to work well with auto drive. But I just want to know the route that it's going to take, really. And it's still going to go as quick as what I can, especially up this road. But it might be that we need to open some gates along the way because I imagine it's going to drive through the main yard over here. And if that is the case, we best uh, get some of these gates open just to try and prep for it. But I think it is, you know, the best way to do it this this episode anyway we kind of manage everything and just jump in where we can it's not a bad farm is it this not a bad farm at all so if we went this way this probably would be the best way to get down to 59 maybe maybe not this is interesting So I imagine then it's probably through there. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, aren't we? We're going to have to wait and see. But there you go, we're mowing, and that's that's the first bit of the job done and with this one. We've got to get the mowing done. Um, we could even send up, because obviously we're going to need to do some tedding. We could even send the tedder up there. Why not? Right, so, doesn't want to get past this, so we're going to have to make an adjustment to this tree, aren't we? Basically, like, just chop it down, I guess. I think. Hopefully now, <laughs> it should be able to drive past. There you go. Just needed a branch taken away. Now, I've decided to jump in, just because it... It was running very close to the to the edge, and I had a few times where it was catching on a on a fence. So I think it's probably best that we we drive this one ourselves. I would have loved to know how it got there, personally, but it don't matter. We'll figure this. I think it's better if we just drive in. What I should have done as well is drove up the trailer, so the trailer was waiting in the field so if the harvester you know got full we didn't need to to cart we could just drive the harvester and then continue the course play on um, after we dumped into the trailer uh, but i think it'll still do the job it'll still do the job we have got the tether on the go i don't know if it's going to get caught because that's quite a hefty piece of kit now with the tractor hauling two tools like that and i haven't had a notification so i imagine he's got stuck somewhere but we'll, we'll go fix that in a second. I haven't put any cost on for using auto drive. I'm only using the cost for using course play. And, and the main reason for that is it just because it, sometimes it gets stuck, it will charge you a fortune. But really what's happened is it's just, you know, been sitting in one spot. So money's tight. We can't be messing about with that kind of stuff. We need to 
make sure. And uh, we should be getting straw from this as well. Ooh, definitely need to unfold it first. So I'll just get it in the field. I'll get it set somewhere and then we'll set it going. But first, I just want to make sure because I know I've got the mod on that should give me straw with sorghum. And I have noticed as good as that is, it's quite difficult to see because obviously the stalks left after you've chopped the, the sorghum with the harvester and the header it's quite tall so the straw sits within it so you can tell that it wasn't made for that obviously within the game but it'll do the job right so yep I knew that had happened there you go and you see how he's just driving just carries on not a care in the world Uh, three headlands should be fine. No problem with that. And yeah, that'll be fine. Three headlands from there. First waypoint. Off you go. There we go. So there we go. We're multitasking. We're managing it all right. We have to. The, the auto drive network isn't going to be perfect. It's a tight map. It really is. There's a lot of tight yard space. So we need to probably manage it quite a bit, really thinking about it. And I'm going to have to take a really wide angle on this one. But it just makes sense to take down both the tools we need. Yeah, there we go, just about. Whoa. Not a good idea that wasn't thinking about it now. I mean, it does make sense to take both of them down still. It's just, yeah, it's tight, it really is. So how are they getting on? I think he's doing all right, isn't he? He's missing. A, he's, he's pretty much flying through that. Absolutely flying. So what we can do is just sit over here, and we can probably set the tether going. So we've pretty much got everything except the baler, but we've obviously got quite a few things to do before then. We need to ted and row this field, and then we need to bale, and then that way, that way we can complete it. I don't really mind too much about the straw. As long as we bale up the straw before we accept that contract, we should be all right. But we've got to, we've got to do the straw if it's there, definitely when it's on offer. So let's set this so it is doing hay, of all things. We want it to be hay. We don't want it to get in the way of that thing, so we might have to say as well to skip a row, and hopefully it should. If everything's working right, I should start from this side and do the same directions. So if we tell it to do two headlands, because obviously we might miss bits then, I think that should be all right. Skip a row. We could skip one, just see if that works out. Hmm, just thinking it might not be a good idea to set this going yet. I might miss too many bits. That sorghum has filled up quick. It really has. Right, what we're going to have to do then, we're going to have to go and get that trailer. And we'll just leave this in the field here. And if that finishes first, we can tell it to start the tedding. That makes sense. Oh, it's all go. I'm just thinking, will I get all the baling done with the straw? I don't know if I can, yeah, get the straw done. It's going to be a challenge to, to finish off with the straw, for sure. But I don't want to accept the contract until I've done the baling for that. Whereas this hay one, I need to obviously do that and sell the bales anyway. I mean, we're already at 20 odd minutes recording, so soon I'm going to have to do a bit of a time lapse on this one. Just so the video doesn't go crazy long and then, you know, if we have to do a bit of a montage in the field, we can get that done later on. But I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll get a, a time lapse now of me just getting through some of this managing that I've got to do. 
so we're set up um, and we've got everything pretty much in the place it needs to be because we don't want that harvest to get in full and then waiting too long because you know it's just going to take time Right, welcome back. We're actually doing much better than I expected. There's been a lot of managing, um, logistics, let's say. We've definitely been doing some logistics of moving things to and from. I even used the truck at one point <laughs> to pick up the uh, uh, the baler, which was the craziest thing ever. So that's, uh, that's strange in itself. Um, hey, it looks like I'm stuck in the vehicle. Nice. Uh, but we are going to set up this baler now. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the class and we're going to save this course so if we have a look at this temporary course and go to our course play folders we have got contract which is a good folder to put it in so we're just going to call this um save this current course in that one we'll call it field 32 um bail slash row job done so now what we can do is go back to this one and it should now follow the same course when we apply it so it just makes our life a lot easier now i'm hoping it doesn't miss bits i'm hoping we can still finish this course off, this contract off sorry and it's actually all good but there's only one way to find out so let's um set that up 
one we'll go from the first which is over here and yeah less handling is the better as well so the biggest bales we're going to try and go with so let's just check that that's set up what have we got 240 can't, get, can't really go much bigger than that so yep yeah, that's fine with me and first waypoint there we go so we're pretty much now on the final stretch of this field that's not bad at all a little bit of a little bit of rowing left to do, but the bailing and every, everything pretty much in this field has been done by Courseplay. And you can see the harvest is now near enough full, so we're going to have to take control of this because there's nothing else we can do. And we'll just carry on from the last waypoint. Actually not bad as well with this, we're nearly finished on this field. We could get the bailing done, but I'm going to have to do a bit of a montage to do that myself. Um, I'd have to also save this course if we wanted to use course play, which is not, not a problem at all. So we can we can quickly just do that now. Um, save this course. Field 59 harvest slash bail. And then if we do need to apply that onto the baler, we can. So not, not bad at all. So last waypoint, we'll get it set up a little bit just to help it out. Um, we want to get rid of that so we can move the camera. Last waypoint. And there we go. That's that done. So let's have a quick look at our contracts then. Let's just see how we're getting on with them. No, that's not what we want. What am I doing here? Too many. There we go. So with this one, it says the field progress is 100%. So that's not bad. We haven't even started field 70 now. We're not going to do that in this episode. We're going to wait for the, the next one on that one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good money, really. Nearly 8,000 just for bailing. It's not bad at all, is it? And then we've got the sorghum that we're getting through, so 82%, so we're actually doing really well, progressing quite well for the amount of time we've been, been at it, it just goes to show what course play is, it's just such a helpful tool, it really is, I think what we need to do now though, we need to start getting these bales, don't we, let's be a bit productive with our time, start picking up some bales and start loading them on, we can keep the trailer out of the way, and then just pick up a few as we go, try and hold maybe three or two, I don't know, kind of want to try and do it in one trip so I'm going to pick up three I'm going to pick up three might be a bit of a pain when it comes to obviously hauling the trailer when it's full but at least we'll get it done there's going to be a lot of hay from this field as well you can see that he's dropped four bales it looks like already and he's on his second headland so that's yeah that's it's going to be a lot but I do like using course play. If we had a bit more money in the bank as well, we could have an extra tractor, even if it was just a really small one, just to do like the tedding or the rowing, then I think that'd be really helpful. Maybe something we can look at if we see like just a really small tractor that's on offer in the second hand market. I think we, we should we should go for it, really. Oh, it's gonna be tricky with this little bale, we best not drop it. I mean, ideally, I'd put the bale, uh, the trailer somewhere in the middle of the field, but obviously we don't want it getting in the way. We're still working technically in this field, so just take a steady drive. It's not the straightest, pal, is it? I've gone, I've, for some reason, I've naturally moved each bale to the right to touch. But it should get there. I mean, we are hauling now we're going 16 miles an hour and that bale does not want to s they're going to fall off there let's sort that out this is a challenge this is definitely a challenge there we go that's better much better but I think three if we do three high it should be it's, you know, it's not going to be bad. It's, we'll, we'll still haul it. It's just, yeah. It's probably going to be a little bit slow. 
tell I've been rusty. I have, I have one week off and I get really rusty at the game. Oh God, it really does need to be attached, doesn't it? I'm hoping that I'll put some weight on it though and keep it upright, which is ideal for us. Let's just put that on there. Let's go pick up some more bales. There is going to be a lot. Definitely going to be a lot. We might be able to haul it now as well with that other tra other tractor, but it's a lot for that tractor to pull, even if it's just, you know, to place it somewhere like down here. It could be something we could do. I mean, ideally, this would be a perfect time lapse, but I've already done one. And I did want to try and get a montage in, but it's not going to be easy to do. Just because there's so much I want to do, obviously, and get done. That it might have to be another time lapse. Just while I'm loading up these bales, because as you can imagine, this guy is throwing out bales. There's a lot of grass in this field. Surprised with, you know, it looks, when it, when it cut as fresh grass, you see it then turn into hay. And it just doubles. It's, it's a lot. It really is. Um, but yeah, I might have to do another time lapse. We'll see how how, far, how we get on, because obviously we need to keep an eye on the, the guy harvesting out in field 59. Because that will finish at some point and we'll probably need to unload the harvester. we go so let's quickly just move this out of the way get that trailer out in the field just to make a life easier there's yeah, some good rows they really are some good rows dropping them bales out I mean I'm not too fussed about leaving my equipment in the field if I get it all done can always tidy that up in between the episodes but uh, we want to try and at least complete this one bailing the straw like I said is it's gonna be a challenge I think we could do it if I just get it done and then cut make a bit of a jump cut that might be the best way to do that I mean that's not the steadiest thing to do is it With <laughs> just that on the side it's like it wants to tip already which you can understand, really, because it's just three heavy bales right at the end of the trailer on one side. I think if we just park it here for the meantime, we will have plenty of time until we need to move it again. But it's going to look like we're going to be doing more than one trip with this. It's not going to be... Even if we stack it three high, it's not going to be the one, is it? I can't really go any higher than that. It's just be insane. I think we're a bit too far on the left there. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. That should work. Let's give it a bit of a nudge. Job done. Yeah, six big bales already. So let's just quickly check on the harvester just before I do do a bit of a... Ah, see? I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. He's probably been sitting there ages costing me money and asking for some of my money back. He's on. The, he was slacking then. He was faffing. Absolutely faffing about. I've been caught. Just chilling on the job. So if we just go from um, probably, there we go. I always have to do that because it conflicts. For some reason, course play, I get a conflict when it comes to the same controller to open up the menu as it does to actually bring, well, it's basically adjusting whether you want straw or not on the harvester. So, yeah. So if we go from the nearest waypoint here, that should be fine. I'm hoping when he comes back up, he won't have an issue turning there. Should be all right. I'm glad I checked that because we would have been sitting there for a while with nothing going on. Right, so what I'll do, I'll do another time-lapse of me 
Loading these bales onto the trailer. We'll get one full load. We'll take them. Make sure that we, you know, complete the, the contract. And, and hopefully we'll have quite a few left for us to sell. And maybe get a bit of extra cash on top. Uh, but we are using money as well with Courseplay, so... I'm hoping this turns out to be a good contract in the end. Time has been so hard on us, my friend. Sun goes down, but we get back again. Trouble is a silly thing, it always ends up breaking. But everything still works out in the end. No matter. So, we've completed the baling contract, which is pretty good because we've got a lot of bales left and I've already made a £1,000 from the bales that I've had on that trailer that were extra. So, not only will we take in, obviously, the cash that we're owed, which is 12500 we are going to actually make a lot more. We are. We really are. So, um, yeah, let's get this all stacked up. I have set the, the baler out in the field with the straw, so that's happening as as we speak so that's good we finished the harvest but i just need to get the trailer um unloaded it's full we got a tiny little bit left in so in the harvester so we are getting there we are definitely getting there and i'm happy with the amount of bales that we've ended up with in this in this field of hay so yeah pretty decent i have got the trailer coming back so i will get ready to unload if i can actually get these level in, in, in a nice deep pile um, and then we'll, we'll sell the remaining ones before we even think about uh, accepting the contracts. I want to end the episode by accepting both the contracts, but obviously making quite a bit from the straw bales and this. So I might have to do a bit of a jump cut, but I think it'll be worth it. I do. I do think it'll be worth it. And I think he's actually on his way. So he might be here in a second. I imagine he's going to come that way. There we go. 
maybe not. Maybe it's going a different way. Tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll make this a bit shorter for us and just cut across this field to the right here. So what I'll do then is I'll finish off. I'll get all these bales on this trailer ready to take. I'll, uh, I'll sell them, uh, but I won't complete the contract until we've finished the baling as well in the in the harvest in the sorghum field. And then we'll see how much we get at the end for that. And then we'll complete the contracts. Um, and I'll tidy up all the equipment in between. But yeah, we've got an extra, what, five, is it six bales? I think we've got six bales here that we're going to sell. Which is not bad at all. So I might actually look for the best place to sell hay. Because you never know, the garden centre might not have been the best place anyway. Right, so there we go. Finally done. Feels like an eternity later, but do you know what? I actually enjoyed it. It was a, a decent harvest and a decent yield. I'm already at 17,000. And that's before I've sold a load of bales. I mean, we've probably got a shed ton there, a straw. We've even got one hay bale because the bale was full with hay so it wouldn't change over to straw. I've actually got a bit of straw left in that baler as well. But yeah, it's all baled up. We've completed both the contracts technically, but I'm not going to accept them until we've sold this. Now, I've had a look for the price of straw and there's only one pound difference and it's a bit of a drive. So instead of paying, getting 70 pound per 1,000 litres, we're going to get 69 pounds just from the sell point that's close to where we are so as you can see we got 126,000 litres of straw and we've got that one 8,000 litre hay, hay bale so not too bad really I'm I'm surprised we've we're going to get at least 15,000 from accepting the contracts which will bring us around 30 so that's halfway but after selling these we could be close to 40,000 who knows and I think that's not bad we're aiming to get to 60 so we can actually go and get that fast bale to do some salvage contracts which then will be a killing but I have to say the hay I'm surprised with how much I actually picked up after the the, the, the contract was completed definitely is worth doing hay more than harvest even with selling straw and it's not bad if you're doing them like we've done in this episode we've combined because obviously we're going to get a bit extra now but yeah I think um, if we're close to 40,000 I think this has been a really good episode it means it probably one more episode like that and we can we can obviously get the the fast bailer so let's sell these so we're at 26,000 that's not bad that's not bad at all we're taking a hundred pound hit because of the environmental score but that's not that's not too bad at all it really isn't I've got all my equipment just flying about the place I've got my my uh, tether and the windrow out by the the grass field that we were in and all the other that's by the the sorghum field and now this is just sitting here so we've got a lot of tidying up to do but for a manager i'm going to call this the managing episode we've been managing a lot of it we've yes we've done a bit i have done you know a little bit of traveling and taking things from there and wherever but mainly the field work has been done by horseplay so we've obviously paid a bit of money to do that so let's finish this off then. We're going to get 12,574 for doing this. So we'll collect. And then we're also going to get 3,100 from this, which is going to leave us with 41,961 pounds. So that is superb. We've got up to 42,000 from doing two contracts and obviously making a lot of money from the bales. So it goes to show, hey, grass salads will be even better we are pretty much where we want to be so obviously i'll tidy all this up for the next episode and i'll come up with a bit of a plan again we might actually have to do the exact same we might have to do you know maybe a hay and a harvest so we can get enough money just to get that fast baler uh, but yeah overall it's not bad not bad Forty-two thousand. definitely getting close now definitely getting close Right, there we go. We'll leave that there. I've just been thinking as well that the tractors are probably going to have a maintenance bill soon because the, some of them are getting really low on uh, the actual maintenance. So we might have to take a bit of a hit on that. But yeah, well, it's part of, the, it's part of the, the job as a contractor, I guess, repairing your equipment. But overall, not a bad episode. 42,000 is a lot better than I expected when I started it. 
Uh, we still got these logs that could bring us up to 45, as dodgy as these are. Obviously, we're not supposed to be pretty much selling these because they're not meant to be chopped, but if we want to build our own patch, we've got to do some G work, and that's what we've done. So I'll uh, I'll get these sold. Um, I'll probably, if, if not, I'm, I'm, at least I'll get them chopped up so I can actually pick them up and then put them onto the trail and we can get them sold. And then we've got one contract sitting, which is not bad. It's obviously a bailing contract again for hay. Uh, we might mix that up with a bit of maybe another hay contract. I mean, this one, pretty decent. 106. That's a wrapper, though. Don't want a wrapping contract. And you can see it says at the top whole crop silage, which is technically grass silage. And then hay. So the next hay one is 104. I mean, we could do a load of hay, couldn't we, really? We've got one there. And 104 there. Let's have a look at field 104 before we end. Where is she? Probably someone's shouting at me right now in the video going, it's up there. It is up there as well. <laughs> That's actually a, an easy size field. Not bad at all. And what we want it to do is go to the farmer's market. So let's have a quick look. Because if it is, we're just going to snap that up. Let's go into tall tree bales. So tall tree bales is... Not the closest ones, is it? Pine Creek. Tall tree bales. It's not too far from there. Not too far at all. I think we'll snap that one up now. And then at least we've got two to do in the next episode. And I'm hoping then that should bring me really close. With two contracts like that, we'll definitely be close. Um, and then if we sell the bales on top that we're going to get extra, we you never know, we might actually be buying the fast baler in the next episode. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it every time. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.